In this video, we're going to look at what happens when you mix potassium permanganate and sulfuric acid. And I've written out a balanced equation here. Potassium permanganate is KMnO4, that's potassium, manganese, and O4, which is oxygen, sorry. And then sulfuric acid here, which is H2SO4, hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen. And the products, when these two are mixed, are K2SO4, known as potassium sulfate, MN2O7, which is known as manganese heptoxide, and the seven oxygens is what gives it the heptoxide part of its name, and then water. Manganese heptoxide is a very strong oxidizer, and it likes to attack organic material. So we're going to use cotton, and we'll also use a couple different types of alcohol, um, and see what happens when they're put in this mix of KMnO4, potassium permanganate, and H2SO4, also, fear, also known as sulfuric acid. Uh, as we can see from the equation here, we want twice as much of the potassium permanganate as we have a sulfuric acid. So what I'm going to do is make a small pile of the potassium permanganate and then slowly add the H2SO4 or sulfuric acid until it's saturated. If I put too much of this in, it becomes unbalanced and you will not get the strong oxidizer formed in quantities necessary to attack the organic material. Okay, enough said. Let's do it. Before we go ahead and mix our potassium permanganate and sulfuric acid, I wanted to show you how it looks here. Uh, it's kind of a grayish black crystal structure. It's a loose powder, uh, but it does something really, what I think is pretty beautiful when you put it in water. So I'm going to tap a few crystals right in here. I'm blocking the light there, but I'll move this. It turns it a very pretty purple color. This stuff is pretty expensive also, so I'm not going to do more than that, but it's, uh, yeah, it's just a nice, very pleasing purple color. Yeah, you got to be probably a chemist or a nerd at heart to appreciate this. I gave it a good mix, and you can see it swirling about. Here's our pile of potassium permanganate, and I am going to add to that drop-wise 98% uh, uh, sulfuric acid. You see that absorbs pretty quickly there. It does start to react uh, immediately. However, uh, the manganese heptoxide does take a couple seconds to start up. So we're going to let that sit for maybe a minute and then start dropping things into it. To make sure it's mixed well, I'm going to do just that. So we hope we've formed the manganese heptoxide in sufficient quantities here. And I'm going to add this piece of cotton and we should see it react. If I can get it down into the material, it's, there we go. All right. All right. There goes our piece of cotton. Next, we'll put in a piece of uh, popcorn. I've never done this, so, well, look at that. Uh, the popcorn really reacts quickly to this stuff. Oh, my gosh. Time to turn on the fume hood. I have some 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol here. I'm going to spray it out of a bottle over that. Let's do that one more time. I have some acetone here. Well, look at that. I'd say that's a little bit on the explosive side. And finally, some ethanol. Very similar to acetone, I would say. Not quite as explosive. All right, I gotta try one more piece of popcorn, but the video will probably end because I need to clean things up and stop the reaction. So here we go, though. Yeah, that purple smoke is going everywhere like a thick cloud.
was trying to clean the end of the stick off here. Let me show you something really quick so I'll get it all messed up. And I took this piece of paper toweling, and as I rolled it on there, okay, obviously you got to be careful to clean up lots of water. There we go.